thing that always comes to mind about engineering is I am so proud to have been associated with the best and the brightest for all these years. A joy, the pride in the people and the achievements that we have had. A disappointment, the world doesn't see it that way. Um, did you ever look back and say, if I had to do it all over again, would I be an engineer? I like to study electricity. I love to study. We need to create champions, heroes, role models for people. And, uh, and I do think that's part of our profession to do that. It tells you a lot about being a child and how the world looked to me. And, I grew up and I became an engineer, and I'm damn proud of it. Thanks a lot. Welcome to the first Mingxie Department of Electrical Engineering annual retreat in Lake Arrowhead Resort and Spa. Make sure that you know uh, new ideas are generated and we're pretty engaged in it. Thanks. Current future roles of electrical engineering in human health and well-being. And we came up with two very general questions that we would like you to discuss among yourselves. What could be done with a constant monitoring? Typically, nursing times is atrocious. We're going to give and for how long and so on. Types of quantities might need to be sensed. This is his prediction, that the number of devices that you would build on a single wafer. Beyond the most no problem. Uh, have also been uh, implemented in microprocessors. How much computing speed we can generate. There's yet another fundamental limit that we're going to hit. Here is what the basic graphene can do. How do you build something with it? We need a different view of how to extract more out of what we have. We are bumping into fundamental limits, especially in wireless. There's a fundamental problem that's still the same between wired networking and wireless networking. Standards, the industry standards, are changing. Do you have an application that you think the network should be redesigned for? This will be a core of something big, right? Because it, it, it goes back to questions like, you know, instead of asking how to reach our industry funding, right? You know, why is that? You know, the, the gap.
to thank my wife, Bo, who is here for putting up with me for about 55 years now. And uh, you'll... decision to come to USC was uh, based on my assessment of where did I have the best chance of actually making a difference. I wish that we had a uh, really, at least a small professional lab management uh, uh, group here at USC. Each year you can't have a tactical plan. If you don't have a tactical plan, you can't hire. We need more dialogue. We need more discussion. I want the young, youngsters to change the culture. It covered easily the top 10 EE departments in the country, and USC was in that group. So once you joined that elite group, you were considered in the top 10 in the country. My feeling about USC has remained constant. It's a place where opportunities abound. You can start new programs. So in the sense that uh, Mel was saying, I think that's something that's really needed. And uh, this would involve a lot of discussion and dialogue and maybe uh, uh, fairly heated exchanges between the faculty, and that's fine. But we do need to come up with uh, a plan for where we're gonna go and uh, identify the various areas and the, and the mechanisms for getting there. It tells you a lot about being a child and how the world looked to me. And I grew up and I became an engineer and I'm damn proud of it. <laughs>